Great Agavia here and welcome back to this Minecraft 1.18 survival let's play from the Obsidian Order. Yeah, today we're going to build a axolotl powered squid farm. Oh yeah, we're gonna make use of those little cuties and try and get ourselves some black ink. Um, ink sacks, but that is for a little bit later in the episode, so bear with me now guys and have a look here. I've finished off this room, this our villager trading hall. It's all completed, the yellow is all up in the roof here. The bushes are in place, I've added in trapdoors here so we can walk on them. Here, I mean. Uh, and uh, yeah, put in all this stuff. There's a bit more detailing to be done for sure. And I've been trading with villagers, look at this. We have Sharpness 5 and Death Strider 3, which we're going to use today, Death Strider 3. Uh, we have books and bookcases. So this guy I've converted and deconverted until he sells these now for one uh, emerald and he buys the books for one emerald each. So if we buy one of these, we can break it, get three books and get three emeralds back. So we make a profit of two. Yes, yes. He also has fortune three and curse of binding. We have respiration three. Uh, this guy also has books and bookcases. He has rubbish and chance, but of course we can buy other things from him as well. Uh, I'm breaking three, very important villager. Looting three, efficiency four. This is a uh, this is my man. <laughs> uh, although I think I've traded too much for them at the moment because he wants three at the moment. But uh, you know we can wait and it'll be all right. Then here we have uh, fire aspect two, aqua affinity and flame, mending, silk touch, infinity, and channeling. Yeah, and I've actually uh, made a change here, right? So this now goes all the way up to the to the breeding chamber that is over there and then I've moved the zombie into here uh, Ian the butler is here so what happens is we get a villager out uh, we flick this lever and he comes running into here in this case or if we want him to go straight to oh, straight to the to Ian here he'll go just straight in here and sit and he'll get converted if uh, Ian doesn't see us we press this button he goes over here and we can trade with him and stuff like that and cure him uh, if we're happy then we can flick that and send him out into the to the um, room or if we want to convert him again we leave it like that press the button and he goes over here again and gets reconverted back to a zombie and so on and so forth and uh, yeah I just wanted to show you as well here uh, we have the villager breeder up here of course we can now go over here and have a look at him uh, or at them and we can run around up here and we're gonna have villagers all the way up here as well don't ask me how i'm gonna get them up here i'll think of something guys uh but yeah today we're not going to do any of that um i'm out of gold actually as a matter of fact i went mining found some more so we could potentially continue maybe i need my elytra on to actually fly we have an elytra as you know we fought the dragon maybe two episodes ago and I'm now starting to use my hard-earned gunpowder for rockets. And so we need to get this stuff done, right? The dying, so we can... So the, the, getting all the dyes, right? So we can start building our main storage room so that we in turn can start doing things like making a creeper farm and all that sort of stuff. And why am I going to here? Well, because you can see this beauty here. That is the beacon. Now, how did this happen, guys? Let's have a look at when me and Avilar fought a couple of withers in the end. And you know how bad I am at this game, right? But I didn't cheese it at all. Not at all. Oh my god, there's a ghast here that is so irritating. Okay, I got him. <laughs> oh. Okay, so uh, you're filling me with confidence here. You've never fought the wither properly. Is that what you're saying? Oh hey, you got kicked. Yeah, I got kicked off then. I always fought it, fought it in um, you no know, underground in a tunnel. I never cheesed it. Oh, okay, yeah. But oh, it would be like in a tunnel. I've cheesed it tons of times. <laughs> now we could bring milk, I suppose, if we get withered. I never thought of milk. I was going to as well. Oh well. Eh. Eh. It'll be fine. <laughs> we say. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> So just disabling the end for everyone else now, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna go back. I think he's chasing me, mate. Enderman got angry with me. Hey! <laughs> uh, did you get a oh, pearl? That was madness. Or sorry, uh, the star. I've got, got another star. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's how we got a beacon. It was good fun, for sure, to uh, play a bit with the Anderman and nothing else. I don't, well, the thing is, though, guys, I have actually uh, been out to see Avalar as well as the Anderman. Sorry, uh, Anderman. I got very confused all you ace so what helmet is it you have fire protection one well you keep it um so yeah i'm super pleased now we can take on some bigger projects more digging faster hey look at this guys um so what's the big idea right F to farm squid you need to be in a river biome or in the ocean and it's better to be in the river biome because uh, rivers are smaller uh, and uh, normally right uh, so if you can see here th we're actually now not in the river biome even though we are above water we are in the bamboo jungle uh, but if we go out here we're in the river here we're in the bamboo jungle here we're in the river and so on and so forth right so i've marked out uh, where the river goes so Everything on the to the right of the netherrack here is the river and everything To the left of the netherrack here is the river and then it goes out like that, right? And so this is a good spot to farm squid in because this is right at the edge of the river and uh, This is me trying to think about a shape for our farm and things like that and Well, this is not the shape we're gonna go for because I did some experiments with this in a creative world Having axe in here, 
you know, sort of just digging down here uh, or encasing this and having some uh, axolotls there. It doesn't work, work super well. I think because the axolotl seems to not detect sea creatures very far away. So I reckon we need to make the farm a little bit wider or longer or something and uh, less deep, right? Less deep. That's the goal. I'm not going to dig out any of uh, the the river. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm, we're just going to make a box here, probably. Put some axolotls in it and we're going to get squid. How, you ask? Well, you see, uh, dear friends, if we go over to where our base is going to be, you know what, let's fly over there. So up here somewhere. This happens to be roughly 128 blocks from where our farm is going to be located. So, and because we're sort of in this corner of the river, uh, that is pretty much all of the river that is going to be loaded where our farm is. So I don't think I need to dryify the river. And that is great because we might lose a couple of uh, percents efficiency here, right? But on the other hand, we're going to spend lots of time in our storage room, right? And so this farm is going to be loaded tons. And we don't have to destroy this beautiful area, right? That's my idea. Now, the Wither fight is not the only event that has been transpiring on the server. I've also, also continued with my campaign. You know how we set up the villager trading, right? Well, I figured I'd use that to my advantage in my campaign. And that went, went very well. Very well indeed. I decided to put some books in our stall for our beloved server members, right? To take for free. You know, all I want in return is uh, for them to sign their name on a piece of paper, just so I can keep track of uh, who's taking a book. And we have some <laughs> Adela, race paper, and Cranky. And this is what happened when Adela got her book. She was eager, I'll tell you. Eager. I don't know what you're talking about, Adela. It's just a normal <laughs> piece of paper, all right? Free Look, flyers. It's, it's... I don't kid, I vote vid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, look, sharpness five, just what you wanted. Uh, oh, you didn't. Like right, you're a you're a typical politician. You didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want? That I, I can't remember. Efficiency. Oh yeah, no, sorry. That's what is. That's what's in there. That's what's in there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Second row on the left. <laughs> oh, oh Actually, I'd, I, th I have a feeling I might need a mending if I get an elytra. <laughs> Why do I mean, to I, what, what do you need to realize, Adela, is I am the honest politician, okay? Why do you have to put them, your name on the paper? Oh, just so I can keep track of who's uh, shown an interest in my store. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, that's my free book. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not going to stand here all day. So I mean, I I do go by the honor system here, of course. But you know, since I've stood here now, you're you don't really, you can't really escape, can you? <laughs> so where where do I put the where do I put the paper? Oh, you just put it where you took the book. Yeah, it's, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for a custom. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> so as far as I can tell guys, uh, things are going swimmingly with our campaign. As far as I can tell, we're the only people with a stall, we're the only people giving away free books, you know, and it's no rubbish books either. It's looting three, efficiency five, mending, mending, fire aspect two, and death strider three. Yeah, and of course we still have our free flyers here. Uh, they're perfectly free. Uh, just take one. I don't kid, I vote vid. Indeed. And then after I was done here in spawn, I actually went uh, to help Avilar out. And this is where Avilar comes in. Uh, the actual Avilar. The real Avilar. And, uh, or should we say, Alivar. <laughs> He came in uh, to the picture and uh, wanted some moss and some glow 
Barrys, and of course I provided that, and he gave me a quick base tour. Yeah. This is why I wanted the glow berries in the malls. This is what we're working on. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just love this biome, the uh, dripstone thing. I love mm -hmm. it. So, but I guess you're going to mossify this area here. Yeah, we're going to put some glow berries in. in so it's not going to be so dark like the Drow City. But... I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, you got to be able to, there's... people have to be able to see it as well, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was so far, soul fire. That was another thing. I was like, well, I can, I can get that going. That's for sure. That's a really good idea. And uh, soul soil can work mm. really well for your pots, maybe if you go for soul speed pots. Yep. So this is how I was getting down here until I found that if you made a left on the waterfall, I can get to the top. Just sort of fall in. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a geode right here. I've been mm -hmm. harvesting. Yeah. I'm gonna be using quite a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. My space opera community has uh, weird crystals that they're using for their technology, so everything is gonna have like a purple engine, if that makes sense. Oh, so you could be a customer. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what sort of a spawner is it? Zombie farm. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Right, so I just I finished that up not too long ago. So. I... Oh, they end up on top. That's nifty. <laughs> Yeah, you get the glass going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's cool. How I, I, get out of here? I got, <laughs> I got nothing fancy. You don't. Built. You're trapped. Yeah. That was, yeah. well, that was the trick. So now I can sell your soul. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a soul. <laughs> no, it's no, soul. Sorry. You got a soul. <laughs> uh, did you buy my soul, mate? No, I didn't. I don't have the diamonds yet. That's why I have the diamonds. We're doomed. <laughs> uh, the, uh, we were discussing who bought it. They obviously think... got ripped off, because I don't really have a soul. <laughs> this is the back door entrance. Uh -huh. But I'll, I'll tie this. This whole area is going to be my base, just working with these caverns. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Way, way out. You can have uh, Drist as a, uh, an armor stand with this head. I'm wearing now. Yes. We made a left, if you remember, to go down to the big one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, oh, yeah, this I, can, I can see the sky. You saved. It's like a tease. It's like it's there, but you can't reach it. So yeah. Unless I close this door. All right. So I think we are... I've set myself on a shape here for the farm. So uh, I'll just take away this rubbish here. And as you can see, it's kind of... Uh, like a pool. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna use blue glass, uh, light blue glass even, so that we don't show the farm too too much. It will still be visible for sure, but you know, less. Less than it could have been. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I'm also noticing that loads and loads of drowns are spawning down there in the dark, so it might be that this area as well can be a drowned farm later on, right? Which would be really cool. We wouldn't mind a trident farm or a copper farm or something like that, right? Yeah, as we can hear. <laughs> oh, I better kill some of you guys now because you have items and such. What was that? I'm being bullied! Take that, you. <laughs> Can you stop holding onto my blocks? Honestly, my mates. Honestly, what's going on with that? You're holding your dead friend's flesh. So that's just unsavory. Yeah, so lots of rounds, right? Which is cool. And so, yeah. It's actually 8 by 22 or something like that. Uh, measurements doesn't matter too, too much, and I might change my mind later on. I think we're going to have collection system like a chest over here somewhere. So we'll start over in this corner here, and I think we should go down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, and then we'll make the bottom like here. 
And then we just need to make a big box out of this, really. And I can tell that these guys are going to be a hassle now when I try and build this. <laughs> Honestly, guys, can you just bugger off, okay? Hey, he dropped some copper. <laughs> I think, yeah? Two pieces of copper. Yeah. Fish off. No pun intended. They do drop lots and lots of heads though, that's cool. Hey, I'm dying here by the way. Let's please stop that. I'm drowning as well. All sorts of things, and all of a sudden, then you know there's gonna be a trident, dude, right? Alright, so like that, right? And then we go over this way. Probably went one, one block too far again, right? Yeah. And I think. This is it. Actually, we don't need to dig out a single block here, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so then we just fill this in. Like this, and just uh, all the way uh, around the bottom here. And then also... Oh, I didn't see you guys. Sorry, pardon me, I'm building a farm here. I know this is your hangout spot, okay, but you got to give way to progress. Okay. Yeah, I need to farm these guys, don't I? I'm gonna have to start thinking about that. I think probably need some turtle eggs for that, right? And I'm out of glass. Now, I have more glass cooking, don't you worry, guys. Uh, but you know what? I'm just gonna finish this off, and then we'll talk about the collection system and things like that. So, while we're waiting for the glass to smelt up, I thought we would have an axolotl interlude. Um, I've seen tons of axolotls in my... quite near my base, actually. Um, you know, there's this, uh, this lush cavern under... or right beside, sorry, our, our cactus farm. So we'll start by going to look there. If we can't find any there, we'll go uh, by the skeleton farm, where I think I've also seen some at some occasions. Yeah. And I think they spawn fairly frequently on clay in lush caves. Which should be somewhere around here. Up there, of course. But you know what? I'm not going to say no to all this glow squid ink. Uh, we had somewhere to get up here, right? <laughs> oh, we had a pillar. Alright, so let's see uh, what we can find. Of course, they also need access to water. And, well, you know the deal. I think it's above me here. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice place. So let's keep our pokers peeled, see what we can find. Yeah, in places like this is where they normally spawn. Oh my gosh, it's the whole caboodle. <laughs> Why did he actually blow up then? Was the skeleton shooting him? Yeah, I think that's what happened. Oh my gosh! That place warrants a torch, right? Or two? Oh 
Oh, look, here's some. Yeah, all we need is two and we can breed them. But I figured, you know, if we find more, so much the better, right? And now we have two, which is great. I'm sure we can find some more as well if we keep looking. And then we don't have to breed them so much. Although I do want to breed them once because I want to see what the uh, little babies look like. I bet they're cutesy wooties. Hey, this seems to be where they spawn. I just seem to have to move away from here for a little bit. And then there are some new ones here. I don't know if it actually has to be dark as well. And that's why maybe they're spawning up here. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's just move away once more. See if we can get a fourth one. Yeah, look at there. I think it's a brown one. They're super cool. Um, we want to do some more bits with axolotls, of course, later on as well. I think four is good enough. Let's go and see how how the, that glass is coming along. The box is finished, guys. The box is finished. We have our axolotls. Well, I still need to rename them, though. So uh, don't let me forget that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so what we need is we need uh, an extra layer of glass up here. Uh, and of course I'm out of glass again, but right here. And then what we need to do as well is um, fill this top layer in with slabs. Just so we can put the flowing water on here. Because we want all the top layer to flow towards that end here. Because that's where we're going to have the chest, if you recall. All right, Foley one, two, three, and four are ready for action. And uh, let's just pick up the last glass that I smelted here. Uh, that should be enough. Let's dye it a little bit and let's pop over there again. And yes, here we go. Uh, I've actually seen a fair few squid spawn inside of the farm every time I run back here with glass. Um, but I think there are several improvements we can do later on with this farm. Uh, such as filling in everything underneath the farm here down to the bottom with the glass that would be a very good addition I think and there are, I'm sure there are more things we can uh, do as well I'm sure maybe there are, for instance is a few pieces of river this way uh, that we can deal with All right, so we have the water flowing here. Uh, we want to probably have some sort of fence or something like that here. And then over here, over this way, we're gonna have hoppers here in a row, right? And so we want to have a chest here. Let's see, I think I have these things on me. So we can put them in straight away. So chest there, and then hoppers going into it. You know what, let's just get up here, I think like this and then we can remove all this lot I don't know if you can hear it but I hear lots of drowns <laughs> well as you can see the things are flying into the hoppers here as we um, break them here which is cool but it'll be even better once we have a bit of fence here oh there's a trident guy okay 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 let's try and kill it that would be worthy. If we could get a trident, I wouldn't say no. No trident. Oh well. Alright, the final thing is we need to keep the squid and the axolotls inside the farm. So we actually need yet another layer around here. Um, but we don't need another layer out front here because we're gonna have fences, right? So the fences are one and a half tall, so axolotls can't get across them. Yeah, and I think that is it, guys, I think. I think everything is ready. Now, I can already see something I could do, actually. <laughs> 
Uh, which is to take this glass away and put the glass underneath the hoppers instead, like here. You know, uh, I'll just put a row here, I think, just to remind myself. Because I'm, again, out of glass in that respect. And I don't really want to faff around with it. It'll work fine without it as well. So there's no hurries or rushes or anything. And now we just need to uh, let loose our friends here. Foley 1, 2, 3 and 4. And hopefully this will work. Very happy. I can tell. I'm the axolotl whisperer. And now he's got his friend. Oh. Don't want any water there, please. There we go. Four of them in the farm. And uh, yeah, why do you need four? Well, actually you need to count them more. I think maybe a six or eight would be good. Uh, but we'll breed them a little bit later. Uh, well, the reason is because once they've killed a squid, they'll go... Uh, uh, dormant for a little bit, so they need to be able to take turns, basically, so that they can keep up. <laughs> Look at them go. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my camera account. I'm gonna bugger off to, to where we are going to uh, pretty much be AFKing in this farm. And I'm gonna take my camera account and watch the farm and see if it works and show you guys. Here we go, we have some squid spawning. And let's just look at what happens now. The axolotls are going at them. The ink is um, uh, sinking to the bottom. Why is it sinking to the bottom? Well, it's also actually racing again. So that's fine. And we have the ink. And yeah, they can't attack um, them very often. So that's why we need quite a lot of axolotls here. Because now I think the squid cap is already reached, so these three squid will stick around here. Or well, I think the squid cap is four, actually. But, uh, yeah. One of them despawned there. Uh, and we can't see any squid outside of the farm, which is really great. So, I'll just show you. I have to move my AFK spot a bit, which is a little bit um, irritating. But I guess it's the best we can do. So now I'm over here. Um, and our base is going to be up there. But this is still an area that we actually frequent quite a lot. And so, yeah. Let me actually... Let's uh, behold the farm a little bit longer. There we go, they're killing the next one. And there we go. So that's how the farm works, and actually it seems to be working great. Although there are things to polish, like now this guy spawned outside of the farm as well. So I need to move a little bit further back here. But anyway, guys, that is going to have to be it for me for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!